Hello folks, uh, part two of the test today with the Reximex and the four pellet selection which are the Barracuda 8s, Terminators, the Field Target Trophy and the Spitfires. Spitfires did the best group yesterday so they definitely suit the barrels on the uh, Reximex rifles. So today I pushed it straight out to 40 yards, we'll do the same test again then we'll do some reactive shooting and maybe even some long range shooting. So uh, let's get on with the test. Uh, weather is okay. Got a 10 mile an hour wind, but uh, we'll just have to uh, adapt and overcome. So let's get on with it. Okay, then, folks, everything's set up down there. So. I'm just going to get on with it. So we're starting off with the Barracuda 8s and they weigh 8.44 grains. Don't know if there's centers it around. Slightly to the left. <sighs> that was the same all at 40 yards. So <clears throat> just gonna adjust. <clears throat> so there's not that much adjustment from 20 to 40, is it? It's actually gone a bit higher. See where this one goes. <clears throat> Two clicks up. Four clicks to the left. Okay, I'm going to go for it to the top target. Oh, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Damn it, pulled that one. Okay, that's it. So not too bad actually. Uh, probably a 20 millimeter group overall. So the next one will be the Terminators. The rifle does like these, but because it's a light pallet, will the wind affect it more? I don't know. See, once you get further out, the energy drops off, and then that the weight does make the difference. So the rapid fire scope is really nice. 30 millimeter tube, nice and chunky. Nice reticle on it. Fine adjustment for the uh, elevation in windage. It's a uh, 1 8 inch at 100 yards, so it's twice as fine as the quarter inch version. <coughs> You can dial it in pretty good. Okay, then back to the zero, and these are the terminators. Okay, let's go with it then. Bottom right. Oh, bit of a fly there. Three more or less in the same group now. 
Ooh, a little fly. Okay, so you can see the majority are between 11 o'clock and 1 o'clock position. We've got three flyers. That's not done too bad at all, has it? Considering. Okay, then. Next one up is the field target trophies. All right, centre zero, as before. Okay, I'm going to go for it. Bottom left. So that's a really good group, that's field target trophy. Now, yesterday on the pellets at 20 yards, you, you've probably seen that different results. So different pellets will suit different ranges as well. But uh, at 40 yards, it likes the uh, field target trophies. And that is probably a 10 millimetre group there. That's 10 pellets as well. Yeah. So that's done well. So the final one then, which was the best one yesterday, is the Spitfires. Might not do well today, you never know. See what they like at 40 yards. <clears throat> but they do tend to like the uh, Rexamex barrels. It was big Dan's air guns that put me onto these. See, so I'd look when he uh, was testing them. And then I've heard other people saying how well they do through the Rexamex rifles. So they might do well through crowls. I mean, I think they all make their own barrels. But, uh, yeah. Okay then, so back to the zero target. This is going to do well. So you can see I've, I've put a, a splatter target up there for the Spitfires. Dropped. Same hole as the first. And again. Okay, so it did okay. Uh, I think there's three that drop below. But all the rest are pretty tight group. But the, the one that's come out on top are the uh, field target trophies. Followed by the Spitfires, the Barracuda 8s and finally the Terminators. Now Terminators are the lightest of the bunch. Uh, so that will make a difference when it is windy. If you've got no wind, you should get a flat trajectory and it should do well, which I've found in the past they do. But the extra weight from the uh, field target trophy and the uh, Spitfires, I think, has helped on that. And they are dome pellet there. So uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring the target back. I'll shoot at the reactive target at 40. And I'll be using the H and Ns because they they do the best in the weather so far and the distance. And then I might push it further out. So uh, that's the next part of the test. Definitely the best one there. Uh, 
because that's got three, probably four, five. Five out of the ten, and the other five have got five properly within ten millimetres. Uh, seven within twenty, and then you got the ones that dropped off. They could have been heavy pellets, but that did actually. It went now I'm down here. The barcode rates did better than I thought. Yeah. So, I anyway, know we'll carry on and do some reactive shooting there, and then we'll push it back a bit. Oh -ho. So, what I'm going to do now is push it back a bit. Uh, I might push it back to 60 yards. Now, at 60 yards, these might start blowing about a lot more. Uh, that's where things like Bizini, the Magnum, and Webley Akimax, uh, HN, Barracuda, Match will come into the rain at 10 and a half grains. See under the wind better, uh, but we'll see. So I put like I said, I'm going to push back to sixty. I'm going to see if I can uh, hit him. I, I know there's a few up there that missed because the wind was blowing him either side. Okay then. So the last part of the test at sixty yards. Oh. Oh -ho. What's that? So what I'm going to do now is push it back a bit. Uh, I might push it back to 60 yards. Now, at 60 yards, these might start blowing about a lot more. Uh, that's where things like Bizini, the Magnum, and Webley Akimax, uh, H&N, Barracuda, Match will come into the rain at 10 and a half grains. See under the wind better, uh, but we'll see. So I put, like I said, I'm going to push back to sixty. I'm going to see if I can uh, hit him. I, I know there's a few up there that missed because the wind was blowing him either side. Okay then. So the last part of the test at sixty yards. Oh. Right, I've set up at 60, That's 20 yards further on. <clears throat> I 
Right. Right, there's a plate to the left. I'm just going to uh, see where the point of impact is. About five mil dots, I think. Yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, got it. Yeah. a long way off. That's probably a lot further away. Oh, there we go. Oh. Okay then, I'll call it a day at that. 60 yards is too much of a push. I hit him every now and again, but uh, conditions aren't right today. But it uh, did well out to 40, didn't it? Even in 10 mile an hour. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the uh, last two videos, testing the pellets through it. Uh, you always get a better look on indoor ranges. You've not got the elements to contend with, but I suppose if you uh, are a hunter, you've got to get used to shooting in all conditions. And there's times when you'll think, well, it's, it's not right to shoot in conditions because you need to make sure you've got a humane kill every time unless you're doing things like this. It doesn't really matter, does it? So that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Mm -hmm.